my crafty friends, welcome to another more bang for your buck video. Today I'm going to be using my tag die to make a card like this. I made this one earlier, it's very clean, very simple and I thought I'd show you how I made it and as per usual throw in some variations as we go. So the theme really of this video is die cutting from die cuts. So this is the tag die that we've been using throughout the series and I've been using it as a tag. But for this card, I didn't just use the tag as is or stamp on it or anything like that. I used some little butterfly dies to cut apertures in the tag. So for this one, I'm going to, instead of using butterflies, use this leafy frond die and cut an aperture that you can look through and see some colour behind. So I just want to get that lined up in an aesthetically pleasing way. And there we go. Now we've got an aperture in our die cut. And obviously you can cut anything out of your die cuts. You could cut hearts, stars, butterflies, flowers, leaves, whatever you want. Letters, you could make a word, whatever you like. So on this card, I backed my front tag with some cardstock that I coloured with ink and then embossed and then added two other tags coloured with the same inks behind it. So what I'm going to do now is colour the tag that's going to go behind my apertures. And the reason I'm snipping off a bit of this all the way around is just so I can line it up behind there and not have any bits sticking out because invariably, no matter how careful I am, I always end up with something sticking out somewhere. So I'm going to pop this on my grip mat and I'm going to colour it with the green ink. This is in the park from the Catherine Pooler party collection which will work well for my leaf, I think. And that is going to go on there and you'll be able to see that through there. I might just give it a little bit more colour intensity. Saturate it a bit more. There, I think that will do. And even though the aperture is actually quite small, I want to still emboss this, give it a bit of texture so it looks interesting through that aperture and I'm going to stick with a botanical nature theme and just give it a flower you probably won't be able to tell it's a flower when you see through there like that but it'll just be a little bit of texture so there we have some texture and I like the look of that but before we move on, I want to add a little bit of gilding wax onto my flower to make it a bit gold and a bit shimmery and bring out some more of that texture. Let me have a look and see what that looks like. OK, I think we just need a bit more up here. I'm going to pop some craft foam in between these two layers to give it a bit of dimension. One thing you could do at this stage is turn this tag into a shaker. So pop a bit of transparent acetate behind there and then add some glitter or sequins. What I want to do is try and line up the hole so you can't see the green and I want a light green hole reinforcer on my tag. So I've got a punch here that should, there we go, make me a little hole reinforcer. And I'm going to add a bit of glue to the back of that and pop it on there. And now my front, I think my front tag is finished. And now I've got two other tags here and I want to add some other colours. One of them I'm going to colour with Sweet 16. 
which is a purple or a, what one is it? It's a violet is what it is. Can't remember if I said, but these tags that I'm doing the inking on are cut from mixed media paper because I find the Catherine Pooler inks really blend well on them and smooth out nicely. And the other one I'm going to do is, it's a boy, which is a blue. So on this card, I only use two colours. I use Tutti Frutti, which is an orange, and Bellini, which is a lighter orange. But for this card, I'm going to use three colours. We've got... As I said, Sweet Sixteen, It's a Boy and In the Park. And just to adhere them together, I'm going to use my high tech glue and line up the hole. And I'm going to put some thread through the hole in my tag. This is just white embroidery thread. And this adds a little bit of texture and interest and holds them together. So for this card, I did a four by six ish inch card, did I? Yes, four and a quarter by six. This card's going to be roughly the same size, but instead of a portrait orientation, I'm going to do a landscape orientation like that. But I want something behind this. A little bit of texture just running along there and I've got this border die it's got circles and squares in it I'm not going to make holes I'm not going to die cut I'm going to emboss with it so I'll pop that on there like that and just get it lined up I think maybe about there I'm going to hold it in place with some washi tape and I'm going to put the washi tape where the tags are going to be so if the washi tape leaves the mark it will be hidden behind here more or less and to emboss I'm going to use my cuttle bug I've got my big plate my first cutting plate the rubber embossing mat I'm going to pop that on there with the cutting side facing down pop that on top and then run that through my cuttle bug. Carefully peel off the washi and lift off my die and now you can see that embossed pattern. So that's going to go on there now but first of all I'm going to pop this on my card blank And that's going to go there. So I've got a little bit of extra detail there, which I think looks nice. I could have done that on here, maybe run it from top to bottom like that. For my sentiment, I stamped Hello Friend. I actually used two dies from different sets. I stamped the friend first and then I stamped the Hello and made sure they nestled together nicely. But I'm thinking this is going to be a thank you card. And I'm going to have the thank you up there. To stamp it, I'm going to use Pixie Dust. It's a violet like Sweet Sixteen, but it's a bit darker. So I think it will have the boldness that is needed. It is meant to look distressed. The stamp itself is a sort of old typewriter stamp. But I'm just going to add a few bits of pen here and there to make it stand out a bit more. This is a darker purple, so it's just going to add a bit of interest to make the sentiment not look so flat. Give it a bit more definition. So that lighter purple almost becomes a bit like a shadow. There, that'll do. 
now we can stick our tags down now I'm going to take some more mixed media paper and add some colour to it And now I'm going to use my wobbly circle die. Just get these orange bits out. The die cut some wobbly circles. And now we'll stick some on. And to give the card a bit of shine. I'm going to add a drop of glossy accents onto every little dot and then they'll end up looking a bit like wonky enamel dots and I think we're all done. I might have to stick these little strings down somehow to pop a little mini glue dot behind them just to get them to stay put. So there we go, two cards made using same materials, tools and techniques, different colours, different uh, aperture dyes, different sentiment, a bit of embossing, but another way to get more bang for your buck, more ways to use a simple basic shape die is to cut an aperture out of it. So even though I've used the same die, I've got a butterfly tag and a leafy tag. And as I said earlier, you can cut whatever you like out of your basic shape dies. Right, I do hope you've enjoyed the video. Do leave a thumbs up and a comment, etc, etc. It would be lovely to hear from you. And I will see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.